we've been given this gift, this consciousness to, to focus and, and to structure how our life is. Most of us have never been taught how to use it. Hey guys, Chris Dungan here. I'm so excited because I have in my hand one of the very first copies, uh, physical copies of the Superconscious Path. So if you if you haven't got this book, uh, I did uh, a secret launch last month uh, just to my private community, and this will be on Amazon. Uh, probably when you're watching this video, there'll be a link or something. You can go on Amazon and get it. And I want to talk a little bit about the book, uh, what it is, and uh, why I think that everyone should read it. Now, the, the premise of the book is that there are two paths in life. There's the superconscious path and the unconscious path. And our unconscious path is our shadow. And many of us live in this shadow self trying to problem solve our way through life. And what we don't realize is on the other side of our shadow is our genius, when we live the superconscious path, we're actually able to activate higher states of mind and uh, transform that shadow into our superpower. And that's what this book teaches. Now, throughout the book, the, uh, we go into a very, very, very clear understanding of 13 principles. And these principles you're going to learn uh, in detail through this amazing transformational um, story. So I wanted to, to guide you through the principles, and you will actually find those here on page 192. Um, now, the book's great. If you've read my first book, You're Not Broken, we've sold uh, a huge amount of uh, those books, hundreds of thousands of copies, uh, actually. I'm really, really, really pleased uh, that this book kind of adds to that where, you know, the first book said, you're not broken, you're super conscious. This book says, hey, you're not broken. In fact, the ways you think you're broken actually holds your superpower. So the first principle here is that your life flows like water along the path of least resistance. And most of us, what that means is that we just keep on following the exact same uh, strategy again and again and again to resolve how we feel uh, we're broken or incomplete or not whole. See, most people aren't going for what they love. Most people are still trying to figure out how they need to be in life. And that's a big difference. How do I need to be? What do I need to change? What do I need to fix? And it's actually a part of them that's driven by this idea that there's something that they, they need to change about themselves. So that's the first point. Your life flows like water along the path of least resistance. Second point is structure creates this path. And there's the two paths, right? There's the unconscious path and there's the superconscious path. Learning to restructure your life changes everything. Uh, the third point here, your conscious focus creates your structure. We've been given this gift, this consciousness to, to focus and, and to structure how our life is. Most of us have never been taught how to use it. Uh, the next point, there are three parts of your consciousness and each has a different agenda. The big conflict is between your self-conscious or, or ego that wants to change things and your unconscious that wants to stay the same. And... This is such an important, uh, you know, I, I took a long time to really live this, realizing that there, there's nothing wrong with fears, there's nothing wrong with worries, there's nothing wrong with the part of me that that is like that. In so many different personal development circles, that part of us is made wrong. Uh, we wouldn't be a, uh, surviving as a species if we didn't have a part of us that doesn't want change, doesn't want new, that wants to keep everything the same. It's actually not the enemy. Uh, it's actually very useful. And when you use your unconscious uh, part of you and sitting in your subconscious, you can create massive change, but there's nothing wrong with it. Anyway, it goes in more detail in the book. Good point. Uh, the next is you can either live in the problem structure or the creative structure. The next point is the creative structure is focused on what you desire. The tension between your desire and your current reali reality activates your superconscious superpower. And, and, and throughout the book, we, we talk about these nine superpowers, nine orientations and nine dysfunctions. And so often we're caught in the, the dark side or the shadow side of each one of these rather than the high side. So in the problem structure, you never, ever fully let go of the wound uh, because uh, it has to be there to orient you. 
The only way to let go of it is to stop trying to fix it. Being all in is necessary. You'll learn how to be all in and then it takes courage to rise above and into the structure. Everyone has a superpower uh, and the superconscious creation process activates it. Uh, the next point is going into a spin is inevitable. You are going to spin out. You are going to end up in the, the wrong structure. It's how fast you get yourself back and focused. Uh, so those are a few of the points. Uh, you know, I covered a couple of them uh, at once, actually, as I was explaining it there. They kind of flowed together. So the superconscious path is going to be available on Amazon. You can get it on, on my website. And I highly recommend that you do because – when you understand that there is a massive genius, a superpower residing in you, it's on the other side of how you think that you're incomplete. And you learn these nine different orientations and you learn how to go into the creative structure. Your life is completely different. I know it was for me. When I learned this information, uh, my life changed from one where I, I, was, where I was oscillating back and forth to building a $20 million business, selling one of my companies, starting and selling one of my companies for millions of dollars, writing my first book and having hundreds of thousands of people uh, read it, moving to paradise, getting married, changing uh, my life completely, living on purpose and having the freedom now, but also the desire to keep on creating more joy and fun. You know, I just got back uh, from an amazing trip, a safari in Africa, and uh, we're off to the United States. We're going skiing later in the year. Just life is magic now because of this, and yours can be too. So go grab the book. I'm so thrilled that you watched the end of this video, so thank you. Get the book. It'd be the best investment you make today. I promise it. It's gold. Bye for now.